Like Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? And welcome uh, to Learn English Live. Welcome to Mike's English Live. Wherever you're watching, welcome to the stream. I do apologize. We were, I was having, it was a little bit late just because I was having some technical difficulties uh, with my camera and my camera setup and everything. But I'm so happy to see all of you today. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing today? Talk to me. How are you doing today? Zainab, welcome to the stream. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. Layla's like, I can hear you loud and clear, Mike. Thank you. I'm glad you can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to be here with all of you today. Right, let, me, let me pop you up. We have... Ali in the house. Ali's like, sounds nice. Nice. Miss Tamu or Tanu. Sorry about that. How are you doing? Hello and welcome to the stream. My name is Mike. And uh, as you already know, I am uh, part of the, the Learn English Live Shaw English family. And uh, I'm here today to do a fun English game with you all. And so I am very excited to be here with you. I'm really excited to have some fun with you. Let's have some fun today. We have Gus Gaming is like, hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Layla's like, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Israel is like, I'm amazing. I'm going to try Soad. Did I get your name right? Hello and welcome to the stream. So happy to see you today. We have Mustafa. I am good teacher. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming to the stream today. Thank you so much. Miguel, I love your name. I love your name. Welcome to the stream. I have to greet everybody. I have to say hello to everybody. Max Ahmed, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're ready to have uh, to play a game today. Yurub. Welcome to the stream. So happy to see you today. I do I do not know how to read your name. I do apologize, but hello. So happy to see you today. Neki, hello. I saw you earlier and didn't get a chance to say hello to you. Welcome to the stream. So happy to see you. Um, and thank you. Thank you for coming out today. I really appreciate all of you being here. Really appreciate all of you being here today. We have to say hello to a couple more people. Who else is it? Who else are we going to say hello to? We have to say hello to Taha. Welcome to the stream today. As well as Mercy. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. I believe it was last week. Or was it the week before? You had Lee was on the stream, right? Lee was here and Lee... Um, did a stream with you all about uh, comments, giving positive compliments to people, right? And uh, today, I want to play a game with you. The game we're going to play today, after I finish saying hello to everybody else, is we're going to play a game of basic versus advanced English. And it's going to be you versus me. This is only going to be the first game of many games that we're going to play. All, the first of many. So I hope you are ready to beat me. hope you're ready to win. I hope you are ready. But first, Mahin, welcome to the stream. Hello to you. We have Mr. Sami. Hello, Mr. Sami. Welcome to the stream. Hmm. Bexo Kosrat. I'm a, ooh, I had to practice your name. Hello. Hello. Nikita, welcome to the stream. Nikita's like, I'm fine. Eduardo, hello. Welcome. I think everybody's going to say hello. <laughs> I'll be saying hello forever. Uh, Zardami, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. My boy Ronan, how you doing, bro? Good to see you, man. Carlos, hello to you. As well as we have some other awesome people in the stream. We have 
uh Zion and Grace. Hello, welcome to stream. So glad to see you here today, ma'am. And Layla, I do wear glasses. Um, a lot of times I don't wear them on camera because they reflect off my glasses, but I do like to wear glasses. Ahmed, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Ahmed, Julio, what is up? Ibrahim, hello. We got Sleepwalker A. Oh, sorry. I pinged the wrong one. Sleepwalker A. Amin, hello. Welcome to the stream today. I'm doing very well. Thank you all for asking. Um, I'm doing very well today. My day, all I did was plan content, edit content, and I watched Lord of the Rings. I watched Lord of the Rings. That was my day. Mercy, I am from America. Um, I am from the southern part of the United States. So um, I am right above Florida. If you know where Florida is, that very bottom part, I live right above that in Georgia. That's my home. Shanae, or Shanoi Parker, what's up? Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello to you. I'm okay, brother. That's what's up. Also, um, big hello to all the people who are watching from YouTube. Also, big hello to the people who are watching from Facebook today as well. Um, we're streaming to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So again, hello to all the audiences who are joining across those platforms. We're also streaming to Shaw English, Mike's English Lab, as well as um, Learn English Live. So again, Welcome to everybody out there who are joining us in stream land. Uh, before we actually get started today, I do want us to talk about some of the times in which we have our classes, or excuse me, that we do our show. So this is the Sunday English show, and it happens every single Sunday. Here are the times. I got to make myself even smaller. Can I make myself smaller? I make myself smaller. Well, it's okay. I'll get to it in a second. So if you are joining us from a different part of the world, then um, here are the times in which you can see the Sunday English show. So on Sunday, which I just said three times, <laughs> um, at London time, you can join us at 1.30 p.m. If you are joining us from the U.S., from Seattle or New York, Seattle at 6.30 a.m., New York at 9.30 p.m., Colombia or Colombia at 8.30 a.m., Brazil at 10.30. At 2.30, you can catch us, or excuse me, at 2.30, if you're, oh, excuse me, 2.30 in the UK, that's when you can see us. Earlier, I said 1.30. I was terribly wrong. I'm very sorry. At 3.30, Egypt, hey, you can watch the stream. All the friends in Pakistan, 6.30. If you're in India, 7 o'clock. Bangladesh, 7.30, you can watch us. As well as if you're in Myanmar, 8 o'clock. Love to see you. Love to see you then. Hey, hey, hey. How about the Philippines? Let me actually move myself so we can see more. So if you are in Myanmar, 8 o'clock, at 8.30, Jakarta, as well as if you are in Korea, which is where I am, 10.30 p.m., you can watch the Sunday English show. And uh, Mozambique, according to Mehdi Musa, if you are in Mozambique, you can watch us at 3.41 p.m. Thank you very much. And... Gian, I do believe uh, if you were in the Philippines, I'm not too sure what is the time for the Philippines. I It may be around 8 o'clock, I'm guessing. I think so. It is currently 1041, says Nak, Nak San Hesu Yukjang. Hello, Anyadeo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. So, one more thing. Also, I'm going to make myself small again. Make sure that you follow. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And I say follow us. Make sure you follow um, Shaw English on Twitter, as well as make sure you follow Shaw English on Facebook. 
YouTube, as well as Learn English Live. And if you don't mind, join the channel membership as well. Uh, we would love for you to join. Buy us some coffee for the teachers. As you can see here, we have a listing of all the support you can give. The basic support is $1,991 a month. If you want to buy us coffee, then it is $3,991 a month, which is not that much if, you, if you're willing to give it. Uh, a basic student fee is $12,001 a month. And the super student fee, super student, is $30,001 a month for all the people who keep telling me to sing. Anyway, um, yes, <laughs> please. As well as one of the most important things is we have a WhatsApp group. And the WhatsApp group is such a cool group. If you're not in the WhatsApp group, I don't know why you're not. You need to join the WhatsApp group. There are a ton of people in the WhatsApp group who are very serious about learning English. And if you really want to learn English, hey, Lawrence, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Then I will happily, I'm going to drop the link in. Bam. I'm a cool singer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, if you can, please follow the link and join the WhatsApp group. I want to see you there. Robin wants to see you there. Lee wants to see you there. The guys at A to Z English podcast want to see you there. Jack and Kevin, we want to see you in there. So make sure you join the WhatsApp group. And with that being said, I think it's about time for us to begin our game today. And if I, hey, Dr. Cardio, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I did not say hello to you earlier. I'm sorry. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Um, before I forget, please tell us what's at number. Um, so again, I put the, the link in the chat. So you have to click on that link and then you have to fill out a small form. And after you fill out that form, then you can join the group. And this group is full of English learners and where we talk, we speak in English all the time. Uh, we text in English. Um, friendships are created in the group. It's just a great place for you to learn English. I'm going to take off my glasses because there's a glare on my glasses. So please make sure you do that. All right. And so I'm going to post it one more time in the chat. So if you want to see or get the link, you can now go in the chat. And Sanya, welcome to the stream. I think we're ready to start our game today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go ahead and let's get started with our game, okay? So uh, with the game today, here is how we're going to play it, okay? I am going to give you a basic English phrase. You have to say a more advanced English phrase, okay? I'm going to say basic. You're going to type in the chat the advanced English phrase. So, for example, we're going to do a practice round, okay? I'm going to say, how are you? How are you? How are you is the basic English phrase. In the chat right now, I want you to type in what is the advanced English phrase or what is a, an advanced English phrase for how are you? And while some of you are typing, I'm going to just be talking to you. And one of the main reasons we're doing this is because I really want you, as well as Robin, really want you to level up your English, to get stronger at English and using different phrases. I'm looking at the chat and we have Lolly Lolly saying, what's up? How are you? What's up? How are you doing? Says Ewan. Sleepwalker says, how are you doing? What's up? How's it going? Mahin, nice one, that's a good one. We have Grace, it's like, what's new? How's your life? That's a good one too. Thank you, Harry. Welcome to the stream, Harry. Layla says, how are you doing? Very good one. How are things going? 
That is a good phrase as well. Beck Hollis is kind of hard. This is very challenging, but I know if you pay close attention and listen and watch some of the responses, you can learn from other people as well. It's a good idea for you to learn from others. Ooh, how are you holding up? That's an interesting one because typically when, when we say, how are you holding up? Something really bad happens. So let's say you have a pet and your pet dies and you're really sad. And someone comes to you maybe like a day later, two days later, and they say, hey, how are you holding up? Are you okay? That's a really good phrase to use during those times. How is your day going? How's your day going? Good phrase. That's a good one, Mei Fong. Hey, Jennifer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I'm good. How do you do? How do you do is a very, how do you do? How do you do? When I think of how do you do, I think of like something from Shakespeare <laughs> or something from maybe the 300 years ago when someone says, how do you do? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Like, so we maybe not don't use how do you do as we do maybe, um, but you can, you can use how do you do. All right. I think everybody gets the game. I think everybody gets it. So, oh, oh, wait, hold on. That one's a funny one. Alex says, what's popping? That is a very slang way to say what's uh, what's popping. I like that. I like that. I like that. Thank you for adding that in, Alex. That, that gave me a good laugh. All right. I think you're ready. I think everybody's ready. Let's go ahead and let's officially, officially begin, okay? Here is your real first one. The first one is... I'm tired. The first one is, uh, I'm tired. I'm just so tired. Please tell me in the chat, what is another way to say, I'm tired? All right, so we have some people putting in the chat. I'm exhausted. Lolly says, also, I'm exhausted. Akshat is, I'm exhausted. Ali, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I like this one. I'm done. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, you can also use this. Um, this is a good slang phrase. I'm done means you get to the point that you can't handle anymore. And so you say, I'm done. Um, a lot of people, you know, let's say you're doing work and you finish your work and you say, okay, I'm done. That's the phrase we normally think of. But if you're completely just tired, you have no energy, you don't want any to do anything else, then you say, oh, I'm done, I'm, I'm done. That is a very, very, very useful phrase. Thank you for adding that in. I'm knackered. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 I'm knackered. I will dead. I know you could say, I'm dead. I'm dead. Which obviously you're not dead, but it just means you're really tired. I'm fall not good. I would say, uh, one thing you can say is I'm beat. I'm beat. It's another way of saying I'm tired. Hi, Mike. How are things going? Magical. What's up? I'm, things are going very well. I'm alive. I am alive. I think that's good. So I'm happy. Cigar, I'm worn out. I am worn out. That is a good way to say it. You are all really good. I can't keep up. Yeah, that one is, let's say someone is working with you. Or let's say like, you know, I'm running behind my friend. We're both jogging and I'm getting tired. And I'm like, I can't keep up. It means however fast my friend is moving, I can't move as fast as them. And now I'm losing energy. I can't keep up. That's when we use that. Hilton Mendez, what's up? Today is Sunday and, Sunday and it's raining. 
it looks like it's going to rain over here. We have a typhoon coming over in Korea. So Robin and I have to make sure we stay alive. Let's stay alive, Robin. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, I'm pooped. I like that. I'm pooped. I'm pooped. That's another way to say I'm tired. Even though it does sound like, you know, poo, poop. Um, we also use it for saying I'm tired. I think all of us get this point. Here is what I put. I'm burnt out. That's a good one, too. I'm burnt out. It means I'm tired. I'm fatigued. I'm fatigued. And we would add a, a D at the end of that. I'm fatigued, meaning that I'm tired because fatigue means tiredness. I'm out of energy also works as well. What I recommend you all to do, um, Zainan, go ahead. We'll catch you later, okay? We'll catch you later. Um, what I would recommend you to do is this. If you see a phrase that you don't know, write it down. I'm going to say it one more time. If you see a phrase that you didn't know and you like it and you want to use it, write the phrase down. You may be able to use that in your conversations later. Okay. This is a point where we can learn from one another. You can learn from me, but also you can learn from each other as well. I put, I'm exhausted. Uh, that one's kind of one that a lot of people know. So good job. If you wrote that and if you have something else, awesome job. Here's the next one. Number two, I am so hungry. I'm wiped. I like that. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten. Actually, have I eaten dinner? The only thing I had was Skittles. This is not a good dinner at all. Skittles and tea. Like, I really need to eat. You all should donate uh, <laughs> money to this so I can actually buy me food because I'm eating tea and Skittles. Nice. I am starving. Layla's like, I'm starving. Layla, go get something to eat. Sleepwalker says, I'm starving. Edward says, I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. I am starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. My boy Elijah in on the stream. What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm famished. Ravenous. Elijah's coming in with the SAT words. I'm starving. Yes, in Spanish, we use kaput in the same way. Oh, I know kaput. That means just like, yes, yeah, like you're completely done. I do know that one. I do know that. That's a good one. I'm starving. Jenna Art says thirsty. Um, thirsty is one that if you want to drink something, then you will be thirsty. When it comes to food, that's when you're hungry. I'm famished, says Neo. Reloaded. That was a good movie. Um, famished. That's a really good one. How to how how to came? How come you uh, you be hungry and you don't eat? I don't know. I think. I was so busy doing content, I wasn't thinking about food. I'm beat. So for our last one, that's a good one. How can you stop thinking in my mother language? Uh, maybe we can answer that question later. Stay in the stream. Don't go anywhere. Stay to the end. I love this. Um, May Fong uses over-exaggeration. Or we like to say, oh, I should do a lesson on that. Over-exaggeration, which we like to call hyperbole. Um, this is where you were saying something, you were making a, a statement, and you were saying more, way more than what the truth actually is, right? So Mei Fong is probably so hungry, she could eat a horse, right? She wouldn't really eat a horse unless she really wants to eat a horse, but it's showing she's that hungry. That's a very good example, Mei Fong. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Very good. I'm peckish. I am on a diet. I will show you what I wrote. A lot of you, oh, I can eat an ox. I can eat an elephant. We're just we're just going to uh, throw out animals. Bekal says, Bekal used a simile. I'm hungry as a wolf. 
That is a good way to show how hungry you are. Felix, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So here is what I have. I am starving, which a lot of you did. I'm starving. I am famished. I'm starved. Uh, a lot of you did better than what I expected in the sense of you use similes as well as you use over-exaggeration. I could eat a horse. Those are very, very good examples as to how to say how hungry you are. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope all of you are learning some really, really good phrases from each other. Right now in this game, you are killing this game. The next time we play a game, we're going to bet. We are going to bet. But I'm afraid because you're probably going to beat me in that bet. Are you ready for the next one? It's so hot outside. God, it's so hot outside. It's so hot. Pallavi, hey. I want to say happy Teacher's Day to you, teacher, because tomorrow is Teacher's Day in India. What? It's Teacher's Day in India. Yay. Thank you for thanking or for saying happy Teacher's Day to me. I really, really appreciate that. Hello, Belly from Turkey. It's so, so nice to meet you. Welcome to the stream. I would love to go to Turkey. Turkey here is a very beautiful country. Lolly Lolly dropping in with the uh, is boiling. Akshat says it's scorching hot outside. It's baking outside. I love it. I am from Bengal. Well, welcome, Rima. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Awan or Awan son is angry today. I like that. That is that is not a phrase we normally use in English, but that is something called personification. It's a big word, right? Personification. What it means is that you take something that isn't alive and you talk about it like it's a person. So you said the sun is angry today. I know that if the sun is angry, it probably means it's really hot because the sun is hot. So for it to be angry, it's really hot. That's a very good use. Jennifer, I did see your comment. Did you say hello? I believe Jennifer said hello. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> Ali, I am in hell. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I am from America. I am from America, the southern part of America. So, or from the USA. I'll say the USA. I love this, Elijah. I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating bullets. That's a really good phrase, Elijah. So whenever we whenever we go out in hot weather, it's really hot. You know, you have a lot of sweat coming down your face. It's so the sweat bubbles are so big. It's like they're bullets. Like in a gun, they're like bullets. So we say, I'm sweating bullets. It's scorching. I'm going to have a heat stroke. We're having a heat wave. Harry's like, hell is close to us. <laughs> hell is right here. <laughs> Duressa from Ethiopia. Welcome to the stream. So happy to see you here. So happy to see you here. Hey. What is the subject of this video? We are playing a game called Basic English versus Advanced English. I am saying basic English phrases, and everybody else is typing back with advanced English phrases. Nice. All of you have really, really good um, responses. So I'm going to show you mine. And hello, Mr. Perimeter from the Philippines. And Layla says she's on the sun. I'm on the sun. Um, sweltering is a really good word for very hot, for very, very, very hot. Um, here is 
the advanced way you can say it, which all of, a lot of you got it, is scorching hot outside. Another one that I don't know if anybody said is it's burning up. It's really burning up outside. That's a really, really good phrase for you to use. So, man, it's scorching hot outside. I can say it's hot, but if I say scorching hot, that's even hotter. That's really hot. That's super hot. Super hot fire. Roasting, yeah. Roasting is a good one. Roasting is a really good one. Your follower from Iraq. Thank you so much. Love having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica, Jessica. Ooh, Jessica, I love your last name. Kabu. Kabu Gawan. Kabu Gawan? Kabu Gawan. Kabu Gawan. Jessica says, we're in the dog days of summer. We're in the dog days. I'm from Bangladesh, but I'm coming to meet you soon. Oh, well, hello then. See you soon. <laughs> we Turks love America so much. Why, well, shoot, I need to go to Turkey. I would love to go. I would love to go. All of, It's like a furnace. Mm, that's a good, good use of a simile. Very good use of a simile. All of you are doing so well. Your English is pretty strong. If not, if you don't think you have good English yet, you should look at your comments. All of you are doing so well. Hi, teacher. Good evening from Malaysia. Elam, Elam, Elam. Well, hello, hello. I've been to Malaysia before. I've been there on a trip, and I loved it. You have a gorgeous country. Malaysia is beautiful. Here is the next one. Are you ready? The phrases are going to get a little bit more challenging now, but you can do it. I believe in you all. She is beautiful. She's so beautiful. She's beautiful. She's so beautiful. She is beautiful. What is another way? Beckhouse says, I love this game. I love this game. What's another way? She is good looking. Mm. She is gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, you have pretty, beautiful, gorgeous. Mm. Pretty, beautiful, gorgeous right here. If she is gorgeous, she is just like beautiful. <laughs> While my eyes are closed and I'm doing this, there's so many comments popping up on the screen. I don't even see it because my <laughs> eyes are closed. Hi, I'm Brazilian and like this year, like your effort to teach English. Thank you, Cristiano. Thank you. I really appreciate you loving the English lesson. She is comely, which I don't know. We wouldn't use that one as much. She's drop dead gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Or, I'm sorry. It says she's dead gorgeous. That's pretty fine, too. She is fabulous. Mm. So for being fabulous, that could be many different things. It can be many different things. She is a goddess. Oh, if she is a goddess, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. She's a goddess. She is that astounding, astounding. She can get away with murder. Actually, where are you getting these from? Where are you getting these? She can get away with murder. What that means is that she is so beautiful. If she was to actually commit murder, she would actually get away with it. She would not get in trouble for it because she's so beautiful. That's what that means. For those who didn't know, she is a very great girl. And I am from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Quinn Trung, thank you for coming. Her beauty is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. She's so beautiful. It's breathtaking. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Teacher Robin, are you here? He's here. Teacher Robin is here. Trust me. He's just in the shadows. He's in the back. He's here. Say it. Welcome to the stream. She's charming. Interesting. So for charming, we normally don't use charming when it comes to women. We normally don't use charming when it comes to women. Charming is typically used for men. And it's about the way that they talk or the way that they act or the way they look. 
mostly the way that they speak um, is makes them charming. But very, very good uh, guess. She is attractive. Mm. She is attractive. That's a good one. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yay. Thank you. Dazzling. I just realized my computer is in the background. I'm sorry, everybody in the world. Sorry about that. Uh, she is celestial. Oh, my gosh. Celestial. She is out of space. She's just out there. I'm from Morocco. Teacher, I want to learn English. I'm a beginner. Welcome. You are at the right place. You're at the right place. I'm doing well today. Hello, friend. Hello to you. Can I show you what I have? Can I show you what I have? Welcome, by the way. Everybody who's coming in and saying hello, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry if I don't stop and say your name. I do apologize if I'm not saying your name right now, but I'm happy you're here. I would just please know that. I'm happy you're here. Here is what I have. Here's she's voluptuous. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Voluptuous. For those who don't uh, know what voluptuous is, I'll go ahead and explain it. It's a big word, but this word refers to her body. Uh, voluptuous typically means she has <laughs> she has a body that's very like she has like the nice like the curves. That's what the word voluptuous means. Uh, hello and oh, sorry, I was looking at one person's comment. So. Uday, hello, welcome to the stream. Or Uday, my name is Mike or Michael. My is my whole name, but my name is Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So here's what I have. This one nobody put. Nobody wrote this. Elijah, you know this. This is a very, very, very common word or phrase you can use anytime. Uh, maybe. If you're around someone who's like your boss or something, we we don't use this term, but let's say with like friends or whatever, we would say she is hot. She's hot. That is a very common phrase, ex extremely common. It also works for other people as well. You, It's not only women. Um, you can also say it for men, anybody else. You can say, oh, he's hot. That's okay. And it just means very, very very, very attractive, very attractive, like super attractive. That person is hot. So someone would be like, dang, yo, she's hot. Like hot. You should use that phrase. You should use that phrase. Um, I That phrase is very much slang these days. So if you speak to an English speaker, I would say most English speakers, Regardless whether we're from America, the UK, Australia, any other countries that use English as one of his primary languages, if you say, oh, yeah, man, or yeah, she's really hot, or yeah, he's really hot, they understand what you're saying. Is hot only for appearance? That is a really good question. Is hot only for appearance? I'm going to say no. 85 80% of the time is for appearance, but a lot of people are attractive, or excuse me, a lot of people are attracted to people's personality. So you can say someone's personality is hot, or he or she are is hot because of their personality. So no, it doesn't have to be just looks. They can be attractive or hot because of their personality as well. Where do I live? Where do I live? I live in South Korea right now. I live in South Korea. She is glamorous. glamorous. She's like a cake or Coke. Sorry. <laughs> like, she's like a cake. Mmm, cake. Uh, she's like a Coke. Yes, that is a phrase that I wish I had a bottle. So we use the term Coke bottle shape. Is it Coke bottle shape? Coke bottle hips. Basically, we'll say like someone is shaped like a Coke bottle. You know, like a bottle you drink out of. It's like this, right? We uh, have used that to describe a woman's body. It's like a it's like a Coke bottle. So it's a yeah, it's a thing. I'm trying not to smile, but <laughs> I can't help it. 
Michelle, I love your name. Sounds a lot like my name. Welcome to the street, Michelle. Hey. Coach, your weather is positive. Hey, as long as a typhoon doesn't come, our weather is very positive. You know what I mean? Um, and yes, like Elijah said, hot is not always appearance. My manager is so hot today. You mean your, <laughs> your boss? Hey, sometimes we have bosses that are pretty hot. I, I do. I, I know it. I, I, I've had that before. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. The struggle is real. She is hot because she is on fire. Take a fire extinguisher. Put her out. So hot. So hot. Yes, I'm I'm telling y'all, these are phrases that you can use. Um, hello, Mr. Handsome. You're also very attractive. Vivi, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you. <laughs> Someone called me teeth before, which <laughs> they call me teeth because my teeth. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, before I forget, everybody, if you have not, please make sure that you uh, <laughs> make sure if you're enjoying the stream, <laughs> make sure you uh, become a channel member. If you're not a channel member already, uh, there are multiple levels you can become a channel member. So basic support is, of course, the cheapest one is um, 2000. Oh, excuse me, 1999 one a month. Um, and it goes all the way to coffee for teachers, the basic student fee as well, and the super student fee for thirty thousand one a month. Uh, hey, if you have any money and you're willing to donate money, please. But we're also happy that you're just here. We're happy you're here. Also, if you have not done so, please join the WhatsApp group. It's, it is full of people who want to learn English. They love English. And it's a great place to learn to meet new friends. I met some really cool people in the WhatsApp group. I talk in the WhatsApp group every day. It's made my English better because <laughs> I ran into questions that I didn't know. So it made my English better. It'll make your English better. So please come and join the WhatsApp group. We would love to see you there. And here is the link in the chat. So please make sure you come. Please make sure you come. And <laughs> Harry, Mr. Teeth, bro, that hurt my heart. That hurt my feelings, but it was so funny. Also, thank you, my boy, Elijah. You, you always have to have a wingman. If you're enjoying your time here, please make sure you smash the like button as well. Smash the like button. If you're looking at Shaw English from Shaw English, hit the like button. If you're looking at from Mike's English Lab, which is my channel, please make sure you hit the like button as well as if you're looking from anything else, or excuse me, I say anything else, Twitter, Facebook, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. We would love to see your support. Love to see your support. You are all amazing. The game is not over, by the way. I'm, I'm glad I'm making you laugh because of my comments. Um, I'm drinking tea. I swear this, this is tea. This is tea. There's nothing inside the tea. I promise. Maybe. Maybe. I think it's time for us to move on to the next one. This one will help you out in life. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Also, if you have any questions, yes, do not hesitate to ask. Don't hesitate. Do not hesitate. Thank you so much, teacher. You are help. I try my best, Ahmed, to help you. Thank you. Good, sir. Leave me alone. Uh, Lolly says, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get off. All right. Take a walk. Take a walk. That's what a good way to say, yo, hey, man, get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Bye. Like, bye. Get out of my sight. Oh, if you tell somebody that, that you just hurt their feelings. They're sad. They are sad if you say, get out of my sight. My cat keeps walking in. My cat keeps walking in my room. And my cat he keeps hitting my camera cable. If my camera goes out, 
It's the cat's fault, I promise. Leave me alone. Give me a break. You you could literally say something like, yo, give me a break. Like, go away. Bruh, respect my personal space. Like, get out of my space. I need some solitude. I know some, but it is a bit rude. I mean, yes, obviously, uh, get out of here. There, There's definitely ways that we can say, leave me alone with a couple of swear words. We won't put it in the chat just because, you know, we kind of want, uh, it's not good for advertisers, you know what I mean? But, and yes, it is Yoko, but um, you guys get it. You get it, you know. Take a step back. Don't touch me. Back off. Yo, back off, man. Leave me in peace. <laughs> oh, Juan's like, don't you have a job? <laughs> like, if someone keeps messing with you, you're like, don't you have to go to work? Bye. Bye. My friend, um, he taught me how to say bye. Like, he holds it. Like, he doesn't say bye he says bye <laughs> so literally if you want to tell somebody to leave you alone just say bye like bye <laughs> stay away from me it's a good way here's what i put i put go away all of you have thought of so many better ones than go away go away leave me alone get out of here uh, bugger off is one that yeah, a lot of Brits use. Americans don't use bugger off, but a lot of Brits, I think some Australians also use it. Um, let me see what else. Leave me alone. Oh, one thing I tell people is um, you don't have to use this one, but this is my phrase. I tell people to go play in traffic, <laughs> which is pretty mean. I'll put that even in the chat. I will say literally play or go play in traffic. Go play it. Which, um, obviously, you know traffic. There's cars and everything. And you go tell the person to go play in traffic. Which, obviously, they're going to get hit by a car. So that is a mean way of saying, go leave me alone. Go away. Like, go, go play in traffic. So you can feel free to use that one. Stay with football. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. I have a few Brit sayings with cuss words, but again, nope, not ad friendly. Yeah, there's a couple things out there we could say, right? There's a couple things we can say. Go away. How are you? Are you going to say that together? Like, go away. How are you, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> go away. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Eunice, what's up? Welcome to the stream, fam. Glad you can join. Glad you can join. Next one. Let's keep moving. When you have time, let's meet up. When you have time, let's meet up. What's a way I can say this? What's another way I can say this? Go take a hike. That's a good one, Elijah. Go take a hike. That's a, that's a really good one. Cat, get out. You just hit my camera. Get out of here. It's cats, man. It's cats. I like it. Let's catch up. Let's catch up. I'm like New York traffic congestion. Heck yeah. Go tell them to go play in New York traffic. When you have time, let's meet up. Advanced way to say let's meet up. Oh, yeah. You just put that. I'm trying to click on it. All of you are posting in the chat, and I try to click on one person, but as soon as I try to click on it, the chat pushes somebody else up. Do give me a buzz when you're free. Hmm. That's one you can use. When you have time, let's catch up. Thank you, Layla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm, the stay in touch. That one, Lolly, is more of let's stay in communication with each other. Let's stay in communication. Let's meet up for coffee sometime. Hey, that's a good one, Elijah, you can use. Let's meet up for coffee sometime. When you have time, let's meet up for coffee. Or let's go get a coffee. 
When you have time, let's hang out. When you have time, let's catch up. Sometime. Catching up again. Pack ones. Hmm. What would that one be? Oh, for the last one, beat it. <laughs> beat it. Just beat it. Woo. Grace, what is up? Welcome to the stream, Grace. So glad to see we got multiple graces. Let's meet up when you're done. Multiple graces. Yo, let's hang out. I would like to talk with myself. These are all pretty good, y'all. Catch the ball. I don't know about catch the ball, though. But I would say catch up. Let's catch up. Let's meet up. Um, Here's what I would say. I would say... We need to have time. Let's link up. Or we can say hook up. But, I mean, hook up has another meaning, too. <laughs> hook up has another meaning. Um, well, we'll talk about that on another day. <laughs> but, yeah, when you have time, let's link up. When you have time, let's catch up. When you have time, let's meet up. Um, all of those are really good to use. You don't have to say let's meet up. You can say let's link up. Let's catch up. Let's do that. Let's go get a coffee, which is another way of saying let's meet. All good ways. All good ways. Cat, get out the room. Get out the room. Sorry. It's the cat, y'all. It's the cat. Let me get back to the chat. There we go. There we go. All of these are really good for you to use. Would you like to go have a cup of coffee? That is another, uh, that's another good phrase. Yeah, when you have time, let's go get a cup of coffee. It's a nice one. I'll definitely remember this one. Let's link up. Yeah, link up is the one that we do use. Yeah, let's link up. Let's let's like get connected. You know, like link up. Let's get connected. Kiza, what's up? Welcome. We can't leave a teacher alone. No, we can't. Let's appointment. Mm, we would not use let's appointment only because like an appointment in this sense is an appointment, but like, let's make an appointment. You can say that. Let's make an appointment. Let's gather. Mm, gather is more like, I think we use that more for like bigger people, bigger groups of people. So not two people, but like a, a lot of people. Hang out. Hang out is a good one. Oh, I love this one, Lolly. Let's get a beer one day. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that is really good. I have a nice way of explaining. Thank you very much. And I'm glad you guys got some new phrases, for sure. Uh, if you haven't done so, for some of you, this may be your first time meeting me. My name is Mike, by the way. And uh, I run Mike's English Lab which is another channel uh, which teaches English. I teach English on it. And if you haven't done so, I would love for you also to make a visit over to my channel. When you get a chance, uh, my channel is Mike's English Lab on YouTube. So here it is, ba-bam, right here. And so I do live streams every Wednesday and Monday normally. Tomorrow I won't do a live stream because I'm doing a live stream today. But uh, for sure, every Wednesday, I do a live stream. So I do a live class. I produce YouTube shorts all the time, like literally almost every day. Uh, but I've been really busy uh, in the last week. But I make, a, um, blah, 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 blah. I make a YouTube short every day, and I always make a, a bigger video. So please make sure you come on over, uh, say what's up. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Mike's English Lab. I would love to see you there, okay? I would love to see you there. And again, it is Mike's English Lab. I'm going to drop in the link to the chat, and we are going to continue with this game. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so back to the game. Here's another one. Basic. Let's keep let's keep this secret. Let's keep this secret. What is another way for me to say, let's keep this secret? Hmm. 
Let's keep this secret between you and me. I love that, Elijah. Let's go out for brunch sometimes. Brunch. I like brunch. <laughs> Let's leave it between us. That's a good one. Let's leave it between us. Typically, you know, we'll say that when um, we don't want anybody else to know. It's just you and me. Hey, let's keep this between us. Or let's keep this between you and me. Really good one. This is confidential information. Confidential. Confidential is a big word. Confidential means nobody can know but you. That's confidential. Harry says, don't spill the beans. Don't spill those beans. Don't spill the beans. Not the beans. You're making me hungry. Promise me not to tell anyone. Promise me not to tell anyone. Sorry, that was the Mickey voice. I'm sorry. That was weird. Um, don't tell anything about that. Lolly, a better one is don't tell anybody about this. Anybody. Don't mention it. Jana, depending on who you're talking to, by saying don't mention it, it means also you're welcome. So if I say thank you and you'll say don't mention it, it means you're welcome. But if you say don't mention this to anyone, it means don't tell anybody. So don't mention this to anyone is another way. Alex like, let's keep it on the low. I like that. That's a good one. That is that is one that we use. It's a slang term. That is slang. Let's keep this on the low. Very good slang. Very good slang. <laughs> let's sweep it under the rug. That's that's a nice idiom. Sweep it under the rug. We put it under the rug. No one's going to see it. No one's going to know. No one's going to know. Let's take it to our grave. Yes, that is a dark one, but it's a good one. If you have a secret and I say, you must take this to the grave. It means I want you to die with this secret. I want nobody to know the secret ever, ever, ever. They must not know. Don't tell anyone. Don't conceal it. So by don't con so conceal means to hide. So if you say don't conceal it, it means don't hide it. <laughs> so don't tell somebody that if you want it secret. They'll say, okay, I'll tell everybody. Keep it to yourself. Keep this to yourself. You can say both of those. It means keep it secret. Don't breathe a word. Not a word. Not a word. I love this. You, all of you are really good. A deal is a deal. <laughs> a deal is a deal. So if it's a deal, if it's a deal, if it's a deal, it must remain secret. Let's keep this private, eh? Yeah, let's keep, let's keep this private. It's between you and me. Let's keep it private. This is what I put. I would say, someone already said mine. Let's keep this between you and me. Or let's keep this between us. This, Or let this stay between us. That is another way of saying, don't tell anybody. I'm going to the store. We have two more. I'm going to the store. What's another way to say? I'm going to the store. What's another way to say? I'm going to the store. I'm going to the store today. Yeah. I'm going to the store. I need to go to the store, actually. I have not gone grocery shopping. I need to go to Costco and buy some wine and beef and meat. 
Uh, and snacks. Sorry, I'm thinking about food and everything. So what you guys got me hungry earlier. Let me let me focus. Mayan says I'm heading to the store. I'm heading to the store. I'm about to go to the store. I got to take a run to the store. Layla's like, I need to shop. <laughs> Simple, but it's just right. I need to shop. I'm going to pop into the store. Yes, Sleepwalker, we use that when you have to go in real fast and come out. I have to pop in to the store. That's a good one to use. Hush, hush. Don't tell no one. <laughs> Signing Grace is shopping time. I look more like Jim Carrey when I say that. Is shopping time. I'm on my way to the store. I'm going to make a big story. You can make a big story. I have to go out and about. I have to go out and about. These are all fairly good to say if you need to go to the store. You can say, I got to go to the store. Actually, hold on. I actually have. Let me get up my banner. Hold on. I'm going to nip down to the shops. Alex, I have never heard of that one. I'm going to nip down to the shops. I do not know. Where is that from? Where is that from? Is that from a certain country? I've never heard that. Grace says, where did my message go? Where did your message go? I didn't see your message, Grace. Where did your message go? Just let's do it. Let's do it. Window shopping. Got to go on an errand, says Lolly Lolly. See, Walker's like, I got to go shopping. So if you want to make it a little bit more advanced. Oh, Dr. Cardio's back. What's up? Welcome back, friend. I'm heading to the store. Is one that I use a lot. Um, even though it's I'm heading to the store, you can drop the G and say I'm heading to the store. Like H-E-A-D-I-N. I'm heading to the store. Um, one that we use where I'm from in the South will say I'm finna go to the store. But that's a dialect. That's a dialect. And I would not recommend you to say finna because it's a dialect um but it basically means like i'm finna or i'm fixing it means i'm about to i'm fixing to go to the store i'm about to go to the store those are the same things right dialects are always very interesting i am off to the store just because like drop by the store they just like shop around I'm just like going up in octaves can you pronounce my name? It is Bekar Rafik. I think I got it. Dr. Cario is like, I was taking my class. And Grace, yes, I love the Korean flag because I'm in Korea. I am in Hanguk, what we call Korea, Hanguk. Hanguk. Dehan Mingu. Anyway, I'm in Korea. Yeah. I can't wait to go to the store because I'm a shopaholic. I am a shopaholic too. I think they use nip down in Australia and in the UK. Okay. I was like, I've never heard that. That's interesting. I like that. I've never heard that. I'm heading to the Walmart, man. I really need to go to Walmart. I really want to go to Walmart. You should decide tonight. That is the basic. You should decide tonight by the way thank you everybody for hanging out here i really do appreciate all of you just chilling in the stream whether you are in shaw english mike's english lab um learn english live thank you for hanging out i appreciate it your last one is you should decide tonight what is the advanced one you need to as sleepwalker says Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Lolly's like, make a decision. Reda says, Reda Bin. Dido? Dido? 
It says, do something fun, do something amazing, or do nothing at all. But whatever you do, have fun. Fun. Sorry. Uh, Bekata says, you got to make up your mind. Make your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Your singing as well. I like it. It's funny. Nobody likes my singing. Actually, I love going to Norebang or karaoke, you know, with the microphone in the room. I love going there. I love singing. Make a decision quickly. You need to solve it ASAP. You should make up your mind. Nice. Make a final decision. Let me show you what I have. Mine is, you should make up your mind tonight. That is a really, really, really good phrase for you to use. It's a very good phrase for you to use. So all you did really well. Got to get it sorted out. All you did really well. My bathroom is my karaoke room. I like that, Harry. I know what you mean. Especially when I'm in the shower. Especially when I'm in the shower. Before I forget, I think this is really important, everybody. It is really important. You know, every Sunday, we have a Sunday English show. You can see the man, the legend right here, right here. In case you don't know who that is, that's Robin. That's Robin Shaw. Uh, we also have Lee as well as me here. See, that's me. And every Sunday, this show is on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And here are the times in which this show goes live. So depending on where you are in the world, of course, the show is at a different time. Right now it is at 1030 in South Korea. Guys, I cannot sing well. Please stop. <laughs> I cannot sing. Um, but thank you very much. Um, we're at these times in Korea. Or not in Korea. We're at this these times for our life. So please make sure you come check into the live come learn some english come meet some cool people and hang out we love having you here we love having you here as well as if you have not done so please join the channel with channel memberships ranging from basic support coffee for teachers coffee like new yorkers say basic student for 12,000 a month, as well as super, super student, 30,000 a month. Please become a channel member. Love to have you part of the, of the fam, of the family. And if you have not done so already, we have a WhatsApp group. Join the WhatsApp group. Janaina, Janaina Costa. Welcome to the stream. This is your first time here. Everybody, please say hello. Please say hello. This is her first time here. So happy to have you here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Can you give me time for Belgium? Belgium, I don't know what time is Belgium, but I can imagine if this is, let me see, if the UK is 2.30 and we're going further east, that would mean you're going further in the future. Belgium, I'm going to say it's probably going to be around maybe 3.30-ish, maybe. I'm not too sure, but it's going to be close by. It's going to be very close, for sure, for sure. Join a WhatsApp group, everybody. Join a WhatsApp group. Welcome to the stream. Nirnawati. Mirnawati. Mirnawati. Welcome. It's 4 a.m. in Belgium. If 10.30, let me see, 10.30 p.m. in South Korea is what time in Belgium? That I don't know. Now it is. Oh, so now it is 440. So I'm going to say it's 330. 330. So join us at 330. Oh, I got that right. 330. Join us at 330 in Belgium. Join us. Here is. Are there any phrases left, Mike? There are no phrases left. I can always just... Put these phrases in the WhatsApp group so you can try and get them there and also make it for my own video too. Please make sure you all join the WhatsApp group. I put the link in the chat. Please join the WhatsApp. We want to see you there. Make sure you participate in the WhatsApp group. Please type and talk to people in the WhatsApp group. Uh, Robin, Master Robin is very strict. So no, 
I want you to know that if you join the WhatsApp group and you don't say anything, Robin will kick you out of the group. <laughs> also, you have to make sure that you do not message people privately because we really want to protect people. And although we love teaching English, we know not everybody is going to join the group to learn English and do the right thing. So the group has very strict rules. But if you follow the rules, you will enjoy the group. That I promise. What is a WhatsApp number, guys? So the WhatsApp number, I'm going to put it in the stream or in the chat. One more. Oh, I put, I'm sorry. I put my YouTube channel. I thought I put the WhatsApp group. My bad. Here is the WhatsApp group stream, or not stream, sorry, link right here. If you look in the comments, not the comments, the chat, if you click that, it will take you to a form. If you complete the form, you will automatically be put into the WhatsApp group, okay? You will automatically be put into the WhatsApp group. And lastly... I have to say, if you have not done so, please make sure you like the video that here, whether you're watching on Shaw English, Learn English Live, or Mike's English Lab, but also make sure that you come on over to Mike, Mike's English Lab and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe as well as like and turn on the notifications. I try to upload almost every day English content for you to learn English. I'm hungry too, Elijah. I'm very hungry right now. Make sure you follow. Join the WhatsApp group. Ah, thank you for subscribing, everybody. This is beautiful right here. Becca, thank you so much for subscribing. Much love. Much love. Mei Fong, be cool. Get some good rest. And I'm going to take off this. Pretty cool class, Mike. Thanks for your time. Looking forward to the next class. Thank you, Alex. Uh, next class will, for me will be on Wednesday. Um, this is my channel. But on um, the Sunday English show will be the same time next week on Sunday. And I appreciate all of you being here. And EAG, hello. I think I got your name. No, no edgy. Oh my God, my Japanese is so bad. No edgy. Is it no edgy? I have to really practice my Japanese. Hello, welcome to the stream. My Japanese is not as good as it used to be. Bye, Lolly. Thank you so much, Nidhi, for, for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in my comments and in the uh, in the WhatsApp group as well. Are there any questions? I, I didn't answer any questions of you guys. Do you have any questions about English, about WhatsApp or life? Do you have any questions about life that you want to know? Thanks for the fun and interesting activity. I'm glad you learned it. Next time, we're going to do another activity, and it's going to be crazy. I'm coming, your WhatsApp group, sir. I hope to see you there, KGF. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you there. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate it. And with that, I guess nobody has any questions about anything. I want all of you to have a nice day wherever you are. And I will see you in WhatsApp. I'll see you on my channel. Until the next time we meet. See ya.